The Battle of Segele was a civil conflict in the Ethiopian Empire between the supporters of Empress Regmani Zudichu and Lijiasu on 27 October 1916, and resulted in victory for Zudichu. Henza states that Segele was Ethiopia's greatest battle since Odwa. Chapter 1 Background The nobility of Ethiopia had grown uneasy with the rule of Lijiasu. At last, when Iyasu failed to observe the important religious holiday of Meskel in the capital Addis Ababa, instead he remained in the predominantly Muslim city of Harar, they decided to strike. A number of nobles met 17 days later on 27 September, and convinced Abuna Machuos to excommunicate Iyasu on the accusation that he converted to Islam, then announced on the steps of the palace that Iyasu had been deposed in favor of Zudichu. The plotters had sent orders to Hara that Iyasu would be arrested, which went astray. Sources dispute exactly what Lijiasus did next. Baru Zud states that Iyasu started to march on Addis Ababa, but his advance was blocked at Miso by 15,000 soldiers and he fled into the Afar Desert. Harold Marcus, drawing on the reports filed by the European diplomats, states that instead Lijiasu had sent one force towards the capital under Dijazmuk Gebra, and another, raised from loyal Afars and Somalis, to secure Diador, the Dijazmuk went over to the opposing army and the Afars and Somalis deserted before reaching the city, and Iyasu fled with his bodyguard to Jijiga. Alika Gebra Igziabaya Elias's narrative supports Marcus in that Iyasu fled to the desert where his Afar supporters helped him. In either case, Harar failed him as a base of support and he took refuge in the desert. Chapter 2 Battle His father and most important supporter, Negus Mikhail of Wallow, was slow to march south upon the capital and restore Iyasu to the throne, not moving until the middle of October. Yet, when he did, the Negus crushed the troops and against him. On the 18th of October, Negus Mikhail's troops defeated an advance force of 11,000 men in Menz and killed their leader, Ras Lal Sejd. Under the command of the regent Ras Tafari and Fitarari Hobte Georgis, a force estimated to number between 25,000 and 35,000 marched north to do battle, and the two armies came to face each other at Segele on the 22nd. Afterwards, the then Rastafari stated that because bloodshed among Ethiopians themselves is extremely saddening, I arranged that monks from the monasteries of Debre Libanos and Zekwala, come with their crosses to request Negus Mikhail to go back to Wallow without making war. Negus Mikhail is said to have simply arrested these emissaries, ignoring their message. Negus Mikhail opened the battle early in the morning, but his artillery was put out of commission by his opponent, and his machine gunners ran out of ammunition. Alika Gebra Igziabaya Elias, drawing from eyewitness accounts, describes the battle opening with a charge of Negus Mikhail's infantry and cavalry. However, the Shewan troops had been trained to fire their rifles in rows and from the prone position, allowing them to fire in quick succession and felled like leaves. Then the Shones attacked, and they pursued the army of Wello and took captives and particularly the Shewan cavalry went from valley to valley and overran Negus Mikel's camp. At 3.25 p.m., one of the Shewan officers telephoned to the capital that they had won the battle. The dead are very numerous on both sides. Alika Gebra Igziabaya Elias explains one cause for this bloodshed was that the two sides did not differ in dress or insignia, and could only distinguish each other by their passwords, which were not always well known to the soldiers. Baru Zud succinctly comments, the Warlo forces were defeated. Negus Mikhail was captured. The coup was now sanctioned by blood. Chapter 3, Aftermath Negus Mikhail defended himself in his corral until his defeat was undeniable, when he surrendered. Amnesty was offered to the soldiers from the losing side, provided that they swear loyalty to the new empress. However, Two of Negus Mikhail's chief lieutenants escaped the battle unvanquished, Ras Yima, who managed to rally some of the defeated army and lead them to Desi, and Fitarari Saira Bizu, who discarded his weapons and battle dress and slipped from the battlefield in the garb of a sick priest with a single servant, and met up with Ras Yima in Desi. 
Hijazmat Gebra Igziabaya who had been a lukewarm supporter of Negus Mikhail sat out the battle, but when the Negus surrendered and he attempted to flee back to Wello, the peasants of Aliyu Amba ambushed and killed him. As for the deposed Lijiasu, he had just reached Ankaba by the time the battle ended, he led his small army of 6,000 into the desert back to Desi, arriving there the 8th of November and joining with Ras Yuma and Fitarari Saira Bizu. When the imperial army reached that town the 10th of December, he fled further north to the old stronghold of Amba Mariam, further away from the center of power. Iasu could not even slow down the consolidation of the new government, notes Harold Marcus. Chapter 4, Battle of Segele Painting